<laughs> sure, so it doesn't. Chickity, 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 check. Yeah, I already could you, checked. Uh, could, you, uh, could you, uh, could you, uh, could you, uh, give me a little bit more, more, more? <laughs> um, chickity China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick, and your brain <laughs> stops ticking. <laughs> Uh, the Human Torch has been denied a bank loan. Watch the X Files with no lights on. <laughs> Stop Man. it! Hey, we done the on. We we've uh, already done <laughs> Brick's memorization of bare naked ladies lyrics before. That's what? a bi- we've already done that bit. Has that already been a bit? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it has. No, 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 <laughs> it has because I was going through <laughs> and and I think the description on the episode is. Jordan and Jeff uh, look at, on a, in amazement at Brick's <laughs> Brick's uh, memorization of Bare Naked Larry, Lady lyrics or something like that. And I I think I made that song the, uh, ah. the tag for the thing. Anyway, anyway, should we go ahead and get started? Since we're since we're already started, since we're yapping, uh, Jeff, why don't you uh, introduce the show? I totally will. I don't know what the date is or, uh, or what the, the episode is. Or is. <laughs> well, well. All right. Hello and welcome, everybody, to the LobbyCast. Well, you know what the day is. It's Cowboys Day. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Finger guns. Finger guns. That, that means it's 8-8, eight, eight, which was their record for last season. And the season before that. And the season before that, apparently. <laughs> Um, oh, no. You know what's really bad is I'm going to call it Texans Day because that's the record I'm hoping to get this season. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. This is uh, episode 285. And of course, I have uh, Jordan and Mr. Brick with us. Greetings. Greetings. Hello. Greetings. It's going to be a little bit of a short show. Depends on how much ranting goes on. There will be ranting. There will be ranting. Come on. It's Friday night. All right. Gonna rant. If, if the if the rant goes on too long and Brick needs to leave, then that is I'll just, fully I'll just acceptable. Leave. Then he'll just I'll leave. Just leave. I'll just get up. Um, he'll throw down ninja smoke. Jordan and I will cough, and then we'll wonder where Brick went. But then we'll know where Brick went. You'll all know. So, do you want to show off your tattoo for the the camera? Oh, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> it's Watchmen. It is a Watchmen tattoo. For those of you who cannot see the camera, it is a smiley face with a uh, gunshot wound to the head, contusions and abrasions, and uh, also some blood leaking out of the. No, bottom. it doesn't have contusions and abrasions. That's just my skin dying around the tattoo. <laughs> oh, so it is. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it'll heal, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It'll it's, it'll grow back. It was all like that a couple days ago. It just has to flake off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good when I when I have to put lotion on and I can feel it. <laughs> Do you, does it put? Uh, the thank the you, Jeff. Thank you. Because I was gonna, Does it? Does it put the lotion on the skin? I don't want to get the hose again. <laughs> Nobody. That's not what I heard. <laughs> oh, uh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and there it went, folks. Oh come on, that one's not too bad. I heard Aaron draw. <laughs> no, it wasn't Aaron. It was Will. It wasn't. It was Will. It was Will. Yeah, it was, was good. I, it, I, you know, everybody was, was surprised it wasn't Aaron. Yeah, it was a better alternative than what I was going to tell you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, because Brick has, um, on occasion, thrown down some of the filthiest things I have ever heard. Yeah, it, but that was. But then Colin, Colin shows up. No, no, that was with Colin there. Colin's <laughs> negative influence. I was kind of holding back, and I was like, "Well, <laughs> I guess if that's where we're going, <laughs> <laughs> no sense in holding back. We're going to go all the way on this one." <laughs> I mean, if he's if he's already there, I may as well catch up. <laughs> that's yeah. right. That is a, a legitimate argument there. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and get started with some news. Uh, we have um, some news out of. Out of Lucas and Disney, uh, the filming of Episode Seven has been delayed, put off a little bit because of Harrison's for Harrison Ford's injury, um, and of course that means that he's if they filmed all that they can without him, it's a pretty in- then he's probably part. in a, a a lot of the the movie and good because yeah. you know Han Solo's one of the better characters. In the uh, entire series, yeah, so. I uh, I don't remember if I posted this to our group me or not, but there was a picture that I uh, that I saw, and it was a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger standing next to uh, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford was wearing like a 
look it appeared to be like an air force jumpsuit like a fighter pilot jumpsuit yeah, it's probably for expendables, expendables. okay yeah. yeah and uh <laughs> love this because arnold schwarzenegger's got his cigar in his mouth like he always does and he's wearing a shirt that says han shot first <laughs> i was nice. like that that is the perfect picture to me. Like he's got that big, you know, cigar smile on his face, and yeah, I, I like that that picture that was floating around Facebook today of uh, Patrick Stewart, Leonard Leonard Nimoy, and uh, um, ah, I'm losing people. I had to forget somebody. Yeah, because we're on uh, Magneto. Oh, Sir Ian, Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. Yes, thank you. Always forget a name on the show. So uh and it it's like cool doesn't know uh age or something like that. Oh come on, it should have been cool doesn't know generations. <laughs> ah. uh, Cuz the Star Trek Yeah, two of them. Yeah, two two of them. Generations. Two of the three. Well, yeah, yeah. Two of the three. But two of the three. Both of those guys were in uh were in the movie Star Trek Gen- That's true. Generations. That is true. That is true. So anyway, uh, they'll start back up as soon as he uh he gets a little bit better. I mean, it's kind of a cool injury to get your foot broken by the Millennium Falcon. wounded on the Millennium Falcon. The door fell on his foot. I'm going to laugh really hard if they like add something like that into the movie. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, what, what was that? Um, oh, in 7, when Brad Pitt broke his wrist or something like that, they kind of hid his cast in, in uh, the things that they had to... F- film after Mm -hmm. but there's one part where he's wearing a jacket and you can kind of kind of see the cast see that he's at least hiding his arm but the cast isn't yeah well isn't there one point in the movie where he like breaks his arm no no he he falls and hurts his arm but it it's not broken for the purposes of the movie but it's in a sling i don't yeah i was gonna say that his arm is injured is at some point uh, yeah it's it's when it's in the rain and and uh and he's caught. Yeah, and then well, his arms in a sling with the in the what's, what's in, in the, the box. box? Yeah. Oh, it was later in the movie. Yeah. So they might have just added that in, just so that, that he just could so he could wear a sling. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. That's funny. Uh, and then the Fantastic Four movie has uh, finished filming, and I I didn't know until just now, but this is. Kind of a found footage style movie. Oh, interesting. Is, that's an interest. Four? Yeah, it's an interesting take on it. So apparently, it's like compiled it, footage of people witnessing their heroic deeds or whatever. It's not a sequel of. No, no, no. no it the would the be completely two new. Terrible no, ones wasn't. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I, I think, and it's not part of the Marvel universe. Yeah. proper. Well, because it's, it's by somebody else. It's uh, Sony, isn't Sony, it? Yeah. yeah. So it's in there with like X Men. No, it's in there. No, like it's in there Spider- with Spider Man. Oh, right, because X Men's Fox. Fox. Fox, yeah. Get your head in the game. <laughs> Break. Hey, he's allowed. He's allowed. No, because he's the comic book nerd in the group. He should know these things. Oh, the- that is true. Yeah. That is true. Brick. I know things, <laughs> stuff. stuff, and things. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, oh. you know, uh, in the uh, realm of. Marvel movies and things like that. I'm going to go see Gardens of the Galaxy uh, with friends or without on Monday. I, I've really wanted to see it. Um, if I'm not working, I will go. Are you okay? I'll, I'll go with you again. All right. It'll yeah. be like yeah. it'll be like um, probably late morning, early afternoon on Monday. Okay. Yeah, I went to go see it with Will and Aaron. Yeah. So so I'll let you guys know. I mean, I'm thinking downtown just because it's it's close. So yeah. If you yeah, guys you know what else it. is right next door to there? No. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. No. On, no. No sad tequila shots. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Sad tequila <laughs> Rick's shots. like, yes, that's gonna happen. <laughs> that's gonna happen. <laughs> so, um, so that's going on right now. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious about it now because before I didn't really care, but <clears throat> uh, if it's found footage style, at least you know least it makes me curious about it. Yeah. Yeah. What was it, Chronicle? Maybe it's going to be like Chronicle. Yes, which would be cool, because Chronicle was good. I enjoyed yeah. that. It was interesting. What you looking at it over there? Nothing. Go, go on without me. Go on. Oh, all right, then. Continue. So, uh, real briefly, we're going to go over the Gamescom 
nominations. And for those of you unaware, Gamescom is kind of like the E3 of Europe. Which tickets are those? I'll, I'll explain oh, okay. after the show. Wow. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, after the show. Gotcha. Um, best con- console game for Sony PlayStation. The nominees were Evil Within, Evolve, Dying Light, Far Cry 4, and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. And I think Dying Light may be the only uh, exclusive there. Uh, best console game for Microsoft Xbox, Evil Within, Evolve, Assassin's Creed Rogue, Sunset Overdrive, and Ori and the Blind Forest. I think Ori and Sunset are both exclusive there. Dying Light is not exclusive. It's not? Nope. Okay. What is Sony and PC, or does it also come to Xbox? It also comes to Xbox. It just wasn't nominated for Xbox. Right. For Interesting. Some reason. And then, uh, best console game for Nintendo Wii, which probably includes the Wii U. Is Lego Batman 3, Splatoon, and Super Smash Brothers for Ooh. Wii U. So, how Splatoon about that? Splatoon looks good. Does it? Mm-hmm. It looks very fun. All right. And then, you know, you've got your uh, best role-playing game, best action game, best simulation game, best sports game. You know, they've got all those different... Uh, the best PC games, the nominees are Heroes of the Storm by Blizzard. Uh, Evil Within, Borderlands, the prequel, Evolve, and Middle Middleard, Mordor's Shatten. I have no <laughs> idea what that is. Battle for is it Battle for it's, Middle Earth? No, it's Shadow. No. It's Middle Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Sh- okay. but it's it's definitely German on the sheet. Middleard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's Bear in Juden. <laughs> the Bear Jew. The Bear Jew. So, um, Evil Within and Evolve must be the the darlings of the show because they were nominated for PC, PlayStation 4, and uh, Xbox. Xbox. So, those, well, they, uh, they look very good. We will see, sir. We will see. Oh, and then uh, Best Online Multiplayer Game, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Heroes of the Storm, FIFA 15, Evolve, and Forza Horizon 2. There you go. There you go. So we'll see uh, We'll see who the winners are coming out of the Gamescom uh, awards. You guys have any news? Nope. Neg Ettore? Uh, that's D- a Diablo. B. Th- that's a B? It's not a B. It's just a large fly. <laughs> Get out of here. A um, fly. Get out uh, of here. Diablo 3 is, in fact, going to be 1080p on the Xbox One with a True story. patch. Or download, day one download. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they were expecting it to only have 900 Ps. Yeah, but it's not a very... Yeah, but that's the thing that, like... Graphics-intensive game. Gaming nerds get all stupid over. Yeah, I don't Like, it, I don't care about I resolution mean, so much. It, as long as the screen fits, that's your thing, is the screen fits. Half the time, I can't even tell... If the screen is at the right, like the actual screen itself is at the right resolu- resolution, let alone the difference between 900p and 1080p. Like, I, tch, y'all can. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know me, Jordan. I can walk by your screen and say, tell me. hey, your resolution's off. Right. And I'm like, <laughs> sweet, I've been what? looking at it this way for a year. <laughs> Well, and see, I can tell the difference. I just don't care. Right. I, I can't tell the difference. Oh, I, I totally can. But I don't I don't care. It doesn't affect my yeah. experience. Right. So. so I, that's kind of why I wish that the Xbox 360, I don't know about the Xbox One, had something like they do on a PC where it says, this is your recommended resolution. Right. Yeah. The TV that you have. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Well, mo- most HDs uh, are auto-sensing now. Right, so off of HDMI. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I'm I'm using at the house now is HDMI. So you should be good. Yeah, HDMI and digital optical cable, what, what? or digital audio cable, the optical audio. Why'd you split it out? Yeah, because HDMI should cover both. Uh, because I it's have a a, uh, a sound bar. Yeah. There you go. That's basically the same setup I have in the living room upstairs, because I have to do digital audio, uh, or digital optical out also. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that I thought that was cool. I would love to um, have an Xbox One someday and and play video games with you guys. But you would love to have an Xbox One in order to play the Master Chief uh, Collection. Yes. <sighs> Seriously, and that, so and that was one of the things. Um, I guess we could call that news is that the uh, the Master Chief Collection will have an achievement for finishing all of the Master Chief Collection on Legendary. And when that Jeff correct when Jeff um, gave that information to the uh to the crew i just i was upset because <laughs> like i was i was angry i was i was angry at him i was angry at microsoft no! <laughs> i you know this will be the first time where times one of those. <laughs> it's been, you know it's gonna be the first time that i wasn't there for a midnight release it's gonna be you know no let's go anyway you're not you're not gonna come to my store for a midnight release. I don't have, an, have Xbox an Xbox One. I can't afford. I that. don't. I don't care. Just buy the game. I could say I was there. You could just come. Yeah, and say I was there. Well, that's a that's a story for another day. <laughs> but I yeah I I'm excited for that someday. You know what I'm really excited for is having enough time to play video games again someday. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Life yeah. is. Uh, I've I've only had the time. night is dark and full of what is it full of terrors? Yeah, <laughs> I've only ever really to is. play uh, a couple of original Xbox games for a few minutes. Yeah, that's all I've played. Huh. We'll so, get to that. We'll, we'll get, get to, to that. that. But yeah, um, are we ready to start the lists then, gentlemen? Yeah, yeah. Tell us what you've been listening to, Jordan. I indeed listened to the uh, most recent episode of the Lobbycast featuring Jeffrey, Willem, and Aaron, and thoroughly it was a good episode. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. It, was, it was good TV. <laughs> it was good TV. <laughs> and by TV, I mean I listened to it on my car or in my right. car on the way to, car? on my car. Yes, I hooked up the TV <laughs> Sat on your car. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I definitely enjoyed that. That was really the only podcast I listened to for the rest of my time. I've been uh, on my runs, which are now, for the most part, hovering right around at least an hour. Um. I've been listening to Midas and Pretty Lights. So you like. Five to six miles, something like that? Um, so this week, the short runs were five mile. The long run, which I did today, was six mile. Nice. Yeah. Right on. Next week is um, a three mile, a four mile, and a ten mile. Okay. Yeah. It's like that. I, I, I have a, 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 running, a, a running story for today. I ran to the gym for the first time. How far is that? Had the knee brace on. It's 1.6 miles. Not bad. 10 minutes. Outstanding. That is an incredible pace. I couldn't couldn't hold that pace. But I didn't feel like I was running fast. 1.6 miles in 10 minutes? Yeah, that's... You're almost fucking... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and there, gonna, <laughs> sorry. It, it may it may have been 12 but i, I left i left here at, at uh 1232 and got there at 1246 but i also stood at the corner of federal waiting to be able to get yeah. across that street um that's an incredible pace my my so like just so i can give you a uh let's see no it's a, that's that's a six minute mile yeah, six minute mile is an incredible pace. My fastest mile ever, ever was seven minutes and thirty seven seconds. Ever? Yeah. I haven't run just a one mile in a long time, but But you were you were never a runner. No. You no, I'm a not new. No. So nope, Yeah. Nope, nope. This is really amusing for me. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, and but I wasn't able to do the run back. I went about two two blocks and my uh my knee gave out. So. Yeah. So yeah, my my pace for that, that is not the last time I ran. Get out of here. You guys want to know the fastest mile? <laughs> <laughs> no brick. Do you want to know the fastest mile I've ever walked? Fast. Hour and forty five minutes. <laughs> fastest, mile, <laughs> fastest mile I've ever run was uh, stopped and had a beer. Minutes. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. So my for my run today, my fastest <laughs> my my fastest mile was eight minutes and fifty seconds. My slowest was nine minutes and fifty seconds. Right. But you're doing an average over long distance, right? No, I, I, I was only doing right a mile and a half. Yeah, my fastest one mile is seven thirty six or something yeah. like that. Seven thirty seven. Uh, but I haven't done that in months. So. It's not a bad run, but it does make the workout harder. Yeah, but because the the impact is is taxing. Mm-hmm. It is tough. But to throw you know, I haven't run in a long time. 
Um, if you if you're mixing it with your workout, doing 800 meter runs is probably as far as you need to go. Well, yeah, but that that was the whole point is to run to the gym and run right. back, <laughs> which is over three. Yeah, so yeah. split, but still. So. All right. Anyway, so uh, that's Jeffrey, enough what, of 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 jog talk with Jeff and Jordan. <laughs> And Brick just sitting there like, yeah. He was turning side to side like he was watching a tennis match. This <laughs> is Wimbledon. It really is. All right. What you been listening to, Mr. Brick? Um, Van Morrison of Monsters and Men. A little Smash. Moon Dance? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yep. Uh, uh, well, actually, no. Not in the album that I was listening to. Oh. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, The Pixies, Tegan and Sarah, and Ryan Adams. All, Beautiful. All on vinyl. Nicely done, sir. You have a record player now? I do now. It's terrible, so I have to use headphones, but uh, I like it. Nice. It's true. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta babysit it more. You do. That's what I like about it. Yeah, yeah. Especially I, me because I have to sit right next to it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, I, I really, I really like it. I only have a. That's that's most to give you an idea. That's most of my collection right now still that's awesome is those it's quality not quantity brick it is i prefer it i prefer yeah. it at, at, at times it's it's and it's because i really have to listen to the album i can't just passively do it right you know right but um yeah i was i was, was very enjoyable how about how about you well i listened to uh it was actually kind of a podcast heavy week I listened to an episode, or no, I actually listened to three episodes of uh, Common Sense with Dan Carlin. Are those? Oh, Common Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no hardcore histories yet. <laughs> I know. And uh, calm yourself, sir. And then I listened to probably six or seven episodes of Gamer Tag Radio. Um, trying to. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I listened to a, a few episodes, and then I was also listening to bits and pieces of their E3 coverage. They did a great job with that, and they really had um, fairly unprecedented access for like an independent podcast. Really? So, yeah, they, they started off with... Uh, they had an interview with Phil Spencer, uh, head of the, wow. the Xbox division at yeah. Microsoft. Um, they got in to see... Basically, anybody that they wanted to get in and see That's and get cool. interviews with. So, uh, they have an app, and then they also can be found on any kind of podcast distribution network. Uh, go, but I mean, we didn't really get much of E3 this year, and and uh, they did. So, you know, g- did you? Yeah. Well, you were... I was watching it. Yeah. You were watching it. I'm just saying... They were there, and they they got to experience the show floor and get interviews and stuff like that. Right, right. So, um, so check them out, and they did a great job. Their interview with Phil Spencer was featured in Forbes and pretty much most major gaming outlets, uh, foreign and domestic. So, it's something that not a lot of people had. It was on CNN and all that kind of stuff. So, good for them. That is awesome. Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, they do a, they do a great job. They've been at it for about 9 years now, I think. It's so a little longer than us. We've only been going at going uh about 5 years, 5 and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Like what 09. Yeah. Mm-hmm. March 2nd, 2009. Time flies whether you're having fun or not, man. <laughs> that is March sure. 24th. That is for sure. Was it 84 or 85? Oh, uh, I know it was 84 for Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. it was 84. Nice. <laughs> and then uh, more Chiba Radio and are listening to some Nitzarab and some Walk Off the Earth. Right. So, not too shabby. All right, Jordan, let's get into what you're watching. This should be, uh, <coughs> should be short. Short, because <laughs> nobody has any time. Uh, I've been, you know, the 30 minutes of TV that I might get to watch. I There was about four days that I didn't get to watch any TV. Um, I did watch one, maybe two episodes of Big Bang Theory. Cool. And last weekend, I did, for the first time in my life, watch the movie Titanic. Wow. It was your first time seeing it? Yeah. It was your first time seeing it? Absolutely. But I mean, we make fun of that all the time. Yeah. It's pop culture. 
Yeah. Well, I guess. I mean, I've seen it twice. This is my thing. I had never seen I've Titanic. I've only seen it once. I'd never seen Titanic, and I've never seen any of the Austin Power movies. Oh. But they're pop culture, so you know all of them. <laughs> so the my list for this weekend is at least um, International Man of Mystery. If that's the only one you really need to watch. Well, no, the uh, this no. is good. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, Go, no, I'm gonna, when, I'm gonna how recently you have you gone back and watched it? Not recently, okay. but but this is what I'm saying. But the th- uh, gold member, yeah, you can do with that. Yeah. But the, I I think the second one's good. Okay, all right. So gonna, watch uh, watch the first one and half of the second one. Okay, watch the first <laughs> one and all of the second one. Do that. Okay. Um, yeah. So I enjoyed Titanic. It was not a bad movie. Um, it it wasn't a great movie, but. I don't understand the whole highest grossing movie of all time no, I don't sort either. of thing. I don't understand. No, we never have. I don't Those get of that. us who have seen it. I, um, I, it was good. It was enjoyable, but yeah. it was a really... I wouldn't even say it was enjoyable. It was fine. It was a tacky love story, and I, I got to the end, and I'm like, as she's walking, you know, old Rose is walking towards the edge of the boat. I'm like, do not throw that necklace away. <laughs> do not do don't it. Do don't it. you do it. Yo. Was it Bill Paxton? And he's looking for that. He wants that. I'm like, you just ruined everybody's lives. That's all you did. That is all you did, Rose. You just went in there and wrecked everybody's lives. And we know Jack could have fit on that boat. Rose is a real Oh, yeah, on that raft? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was was like 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 the the, the diagrams. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I was talking to Oh, yeah, uh, he could totally fit on there. Like, you know, I was like, did you ever see those pictures with the, uh, the, like, the high school science project where they, they found, like, got the dimensions of the the door that she was on and drew it all out on like a gym floor and showed all of the different ways that they could have sat (laughs) on that door. (laughs) Yeah. I love it. (laughs) Okay. James Cameron gets away with that though. I mean, with that and Avatar, both movies that were fine, not incredible. They were fine. Yeah. They were fine. They weren't incredible. They weren't groundbreaking. Avatar gets the the lead out of those two. James Cameron gets away with that. Visually, visually, both of them were groundbreaking. Okay. I guess, but still, highest grossing? No, and that's the thing. I mean, I don't understand. Visually, Star Wars Episode I was groundbreaking, but. Yeah. Dude. Visually, Star Wars Episode uh, um, Four was was groundbreaking. Mm. <laughs> for its time, for its time, A New Hope know. was groundbreaking. Uh, the Death Star. Uh, well, okay, trench for, scene. For its time. Trench scene was. Um, yeah. It was all Legos and miniatures. No, for its time. Okay, I mean, time, you're I mean, talking about 1977. So that, that's, that's I'm a glad big neither deal. one of us got that wrong. Brick, I would have had to have stabbed you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I I enjoyed the movie, and um, I think that I enjoyed it enough. Whatever, I I will never watch it again. Yeah, I don't need to watch it again. I've seen it twice, and the only reason I saw it twice was because the second time was a, a date movie when it came out on IMAX 3D. Ugh, that was the only Ugh. reason I saw it a second time. But hmm. yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. What you been watching, Brick? Um, well, uh, the house that I was staying in in Portland was uh, did not have cable, so it's I, like my house. So I watched a lot of Netflix. Yes. Um, watched a lot of West Wing and a lot of The Office. Did a rewatch of The Office first time of the West Wing, as we all know. Um, I'm really happy I got back into the West Wing. I really like that show. Okay, it reminded me of how much I like that show. Okay. Um, and then for actual TV, I watched The Leftovers, and... <sighs> Dude, are you done yet? No, no, I really like it. Especially this last episode. <laughs> yeah, I, I quit like two or three episodes back, so... <laughs> I... I'll send it to Jeff. <laughs> um, and then I watched True Blood, <laughs> which is just terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, really bad. Rutger Hauer was in this episode, though. Oh, it's true. I was happy about that, because I love Rutger Hauer. And that loves me some Anna Camp. Newland? Oh, yeah, I don't like her so much. Well, I like that actress a lot. I'm not a fan. She's gorgeous. But I love Rutger Hauer. 
All right. I'm a big fan of that guy. He's also gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, and then I saw two movies. When I was in Portland, I saw Boyhood, which was really good. It was really unique. It was, uh, it was that movie. Uh, Richard Linklater did it. And it was a movie that they shot over 12 years. And they had these child actors that were like, I think like nine and seven when they started. Um, and and they filmed like a little bit of it every year. <laughs> they filmed a little <laughs> bit of it every year. And uh, they, uh, over 12 years so that the kids age naturally. Yeah. And it was really, it was a unique experience for a movie. No, that is pretty cool. I really liked it. Yeah. Well, it's kind of it's, it's it kind of like uh, what happens with a TV series that goes, you know, years. <laughs> Jordan, what are you doing? Uh, I was just messing with your spiel. Uh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Sorry, Jordan. Jordan is. Uh, I'm filling my ro- the memes. I'm filling my role by uh, distracting us. Yeah, yeah, no. Boyhood was really good. I very much enjoyed it. It's long though. I mean, because you know they have to include a lot of stuff because it, it's they they cover pretty much the entire boyhood of this character. Yeah, and yeah. it's and it's really cool how they incorporate like technologies of the day and like little pop culture references and stuff like that. But it's not blatant, right? You know, like it's very naturally put in to the movie um and then today i saw guardians of the galaxy and it was great it was so good that is my favorite movie of the summer so far and i loved amazing spider-man 2 Ooh, that's a tough one for me actually so, no i okay. take it back i take it back amazing spider-man 2 is still better but i really like, <laughs> I really right. like guardians of the so galaxy. apparently i was i was going back in, in life amazing spider-man 2 got terrible reviews i don't oh, get yeah. it I don't get it because I loved that movie and it was so good. I, I just thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, and, and, and I, I didn't think about it, but one of the reviews was talking about how it is. Jamie fo- Foxx is awful. That no, it, they were talking about how like okay, this is the same Spider-Man movie that we've seen who knows how many times with just with different actors. Yeah, I that can be the same same. That can be said of most reboots. I disagree because no, I'm driving you ass. But <laughs> all right, I, I know off- a guy who's not driving. <laughs> yeah, I was just offering you some beer, brick. I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you for for offering um, you a beverage. This episode this, this is episode? not brought to you by <laughs> Brainless Raspberries Belgian Style Ale by Epic Brewing. I'll try a little bit of it. Give me yeah, a little, a little taste. Now that you put your mouth on it, yep, that's how you get ants. <laughs> In your mouth? Weird. <laughs> uh, no, I'm 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 driving. Oh yeah, that's right. You are driving. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. I was a big fan, so I'm very yeah. excited to see it again with you. Yeah, well, likewise. I, it's just because you're excited to go to the movies with me, Brad. I am. I am. I am. Are we gonna hold hands? Oh, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel hilarious. Gross right now. I need a shower. A shame shower. Yeah. Shame and shower. That's what I hear a lot when I touch people. Yep. <laughs> All right. <sighs> what else? Um, that's it. That's it for me. No more and then? No mas. Okay. So, uh, Halt and Catch Fire. I finally watched the season finale. Okay. Just tell I, me if it's good. It's great. Okay. I figured it would be, but I was just, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Has kind of an interesting end, but you know we'll see. Cause uh, did it get renewed? Have you seen? Oh yeah. yeah okay. I am. Um, I am. I think four or five episodes in, and I definitely like the show. It's so good. Yeah, I've been watching it on my tablet a little bit here and there. I didn't. I didn't watch any this week, which is why I hadn't listed it. But, um, but um, it's good to see uh, them go back and get young John Cusack and Mary Stuart Masterson. <laughs> The the main actors they yeah. kind of look like young uh, John Cusack and yeah they really and Mary do. Stuart Masterson they do you really remember do. do you know yeah. Mary Stuart yeah. Masterson yeah. from some kind of wonderful yeah oh my god yeah eighty eighties era uh, yeah. Cusack and Masterson there some kind of wonderful had um, who was the guy 
Uh, it had James Spader and um, and <sighs> what's his name? Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it, I haven't seen that movie in a very, very Lance. long time. And it. Lance. It's Eric Stoltz. Yeah. Yeah. Who was uh, the redhead? Um, Eric Stoltz. No. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Ringwald? Damn it. No. Oh. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> God. You did watch The Office this week. <laughs> anyway. Um, Molly Ringwald. No. Uh, That's not, what I just said. Not in some kind of wonderful. I was in my. I don't think that I don't think she was in some kind of wonderful. No, no, she wasn't. She wasn't. She was not the love interest or the the pursued woman in that one. So, um it was the redhead who was on uh like Carolyn or whatever, Caroline in the city or something like that. Later, had her own show. You ready? <laughs> We're gonna go. <laughs> yep. Stuff. Okay. Let's Stuff. do this. All right. Uh, I also watched uh, Utopia and Tyrant. I'm really enjoying both of those still. Uh, Last Ship was was uh, interesting this week. Um, I watched two episodes of the Will Wheaton Project, so that was awesome. All stuff I still need to watch. So many right. VR. Uh, True Blood. Ed, the redhead was Marty McFly's mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Now wow. I know exactly who you're talking about. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about the uh, the guy looking like. Um, I think he looks like John Cusack. Maybe, but she definitely maybe he looks like does. John Cusack. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she definitely looks like her though. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and then I also watched, like I said, True Blood. Um, it it is still terrible. Um, and then Sherlock, uh, Madison was watching episode one of season three, uh, and that was the empty coffin. Yeah. And where, uh, um, that's where, such a great episode where John continuously is punching, uh, punching Sherlock throughout the first 20 <laughs> minutes of the, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Um, and then guardians of the galaxy, uh, yeah. just yeah. really good, really good. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll um I'll look at movie times and we'll have to schedule. I'm fairly s- I'm fairly it's sure I'm off on Monday. Yeah. So we'll give we'll give it a shot. I'm definitely off on Monday, so let's do this. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh what you playing? Oh, that's for me. I haven't heard any rants yet. What's going on? No, I, we're we're just talking. We're, we're just, just talking. We're so just rapping. Yeah. Um for mobile gaming, I picked up some other uh Free, free to play or whatever it is, games off of the um, the interwebs. What am I looking for? Games. Um, so I'm kind of looking back at the, and I wanted to talk about one in particular that I've actually put some time in. It's called Legends of Descent. All right, and it looks like what you would think Diablo would look like if it was on the uh, Super Nintendo ish. Okay. And it's it it plays very smooth, plays very well. I would love that it, if it was like you know multiplayer, like somebody could join in your level and and stuff like that. So it's good. Um, I also is it loot driven? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's they give you a quest. You go down. You kill a bunch of monsters and you gather all the loot and then you go back and you know finish. You clear the level. But you know there's a there's the tunnel to the entrance or the entrance to the. Uh, dungeon is in the middle of the town and you have to go down a level, clear it, go down a level, clear it, go down another level, clear it. So, yeah. Very hack and slash loot driven. That can be good, though. No, I think it's great. For a mobile game, that is exactly what I want. Especially because it's drop in, drop out, like save and exit. Like I just, yeah. Can you also play it on your tablet or are you just playing it on your phone? I'm playing on my phone. I'm I don't know about the uh, Google Marketplace or the Google Play. Oh, uh, you'd have to pay for it again. No, it was free. Oh, it was free? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I mean it's called Legends of Descent, L O D for short. Hmm. And that's what they <laughs> call it in there. Awesome. That's what they call it in the game. So I just I uh, thought it was really cool. And for my actual factual gaming, I have been playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on the 360. Is it good? I, I've I, did, I've only played the first. Did you one. take my copy? I probably have Jeff's copy. Okay, good. No, I, I just that's what I wanted to make sure of because I wouldn't want you to <laughs> have gone and gotten a copy yeah, of it. I uh, I was going through my little folder game pack 
things, and I was like, I have Assassin's Creed. I gotta play that. I because I never played Assassin's Creed two. This is fine. Oh yeah, yeah. There are so many Assassin's Creed games now, <laughs> and that's the thing. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is definitely its own game. Definitely, like there's no question about it. So. I've very much been enjoying that when I get the opportunity to play. I put in about an hour today. Um, I always run into the same thing that I... Or I'm running into the same thing that I always run into when I play Assassin's Creed is I get upset if I don't get full synchronization on a mission and then I want to go back and play over <laughs> and over and over and over until I do. And that is very frustrating, especially when they're in a very difficult area and it's like, you know, full synchronization means you don't lose any health. 20 guys just ran into the room and started trying to stab me. Yeah. Yeah. So I think those are ones where I want to get fully geared up and then replay them, you know, later in the game. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's cool. I like the idea of um, rebuilding the city and having it just dump money into the banks and you just have to go to the banks and empty them out. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, So I've been enjoying that. Brick, what have you been playing? Um, Actually, uh, Jordan, uh, real quick, like, um, I really, really think that you are going to enjoy Destiny. I, you know, what? it is it, it is you, first person shooter, and then it's also MMO. So yeah. you get together and you go on. The beta is not still going, right? No, and you guys don't have any copies. It's no. not released yet, right? No, it's not released yet. Soon, um, and I I had planned on uh, doing the beta test. And then calling it good, and then canceling my pre-order, but I kind of want to keep it now. Okay, so um, well, once you get but it, you, I, you I get in fire, and... fire, fire teams, yeah, and you go on quests. Yeah, well, maybe you with my uh, clear dungeons and stuff like my that. new schedule, then I might uh, one of these mornings come over here <laughs> and tear Perfect. it up. Perfect, because um, it has. It has kind of like the the loot chase of Borderlands, and it's got kind of RPG elements like uh, Mass Effect. Single player, like and then first person shooter. It's like Halo because it's made by Bungie. Is it all multiplayer like Titanfall? It's got to be. It must be. Interesting. Yeah. But you'll still be able to play it over here. No, no, I understand. No, I was just saying if if it was all multiplayer like Titanfall, you're running you're running around, and you run into other people. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's it it's open open world MMO style. So it's like Borderlands with other people running around. Yeah. Well, I guess Borderlands. And events happen like while you're running around, and then a space a a drop ship may come in and uh, drop some bad guys on you, and yeah, and and everybody can fight them. It, yeah. It's like a scheduled server event or whatever. That's really cool. Or not scheduled, like a random server, an unannounced server, unannounced event. server event. Yeah, so. and that it's pretty <clears throat> slick. I I knew that I would like it. I was a little afraid to look at it just because <laughs> again I. I can't afford. You got the Halo loves. You I do. do. I really have a lot of love for Halo. I have a lot of love for Bungie, and it's tough for me to not be playing those. And again, it's something. I mean, I I can't say enough. It isn't because I don't want to. I do want to. I just one. There's the cost of getting. It's a big cost, and we've got a we've got a big trip coming up in October. Yeah, and that's the biggest thing. He's got a big trip. You know, life happens. But the other life thing is that there's happen. no time. You've got a big trip. Coming yeah. Up. I've got plenty of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brick, why don't you use some of that money to buy me an Xbox One and uh, Destiny? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe Diablo mm, Three. No, I'm, I'm buying a PS4. You buying me why? an Xbox One? Because reasons. I'm getting Destiny. Actually, I think this is the second time I've tried. No, you aren't. You're getting why, Destiny Brick, for the you PS4. You won't be able to play with us. I'll, I might buy a second. Will copy. and I w- w- are going to play. I might buy a second copy, but I'm doing the bundle. PlayStation has a bundle. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Reasons. <laughs> you can look at the bundle. You don't need the bundle. Oh, it's white. It's yeah. White. I think the Xbox uh, will bundle will be white, too. There's not an Xbox bundle. There's not? Nope. 
What's the the white Xbox bundle that's coming out? That's for um something else. It's not for Destiny. Is it though. for? It's for Sunset Overdrive. I think Sunset Overdrive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which I is gonna you. be cool. Yeah. I definitely want Sunset Overdrive, but no, it's not for Destiny. Okay. So anyway, Jordan, I think you Destiny. Dig- Destiny. I'm sure I it's will. It's got a, enough of MMO and enough of Halo to uh, to make you happy. I think. Yeah, and I and that's, you know, that is my. That is my dream girl when it comes to video games. Is first person shooter MMO. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I get you. Um, <clears throat> okay, Brick, what you been playing? You ready to be angry? What? Have you been I'm playing Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the video game? I certainly game? have, actually, <laughs> for original Xbox. Because the only two games... Oh, yeah, I, re- I remember... Wait, there's an I actual Buffy that. the Vampire Slayer video oh, game? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> no, and it was it's kind of Blood Rain-ish, right? Yeah, it's not bad. I, I the, Before I bought it, I actually looked up reviews on it, like old reviews from IGN. Yeah. And they gave it really good I, marks. And I so, remember it. I just... I, I don't... I think I just played the demo. I didn't play the full game. But yeah, it's it's really cool. It's really yeah, cool. I like I it. I remember it. Um and it takes place between like I think between season two and three, that kind of thing. But anyway, I played that uh on original Xbox and I played Silent Hill two. Nice. And so I'm doing some old school gaming. Was it Aaron playing Silent Hill two? Was she? Silent Hill. The first one. Oh, okay. I I'm playing two. Yeah. But yeah, I love both of those. I think I think she played one and and was playing two or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of both of those games. So. Yeah, Not they were decent style. games. Yeah, I hear that they are remaking the original Resident Evil, the first Resident Evil for Xbox One. That's, that is that's correct, a true sir. Story. Yep. Yeah, so but it was, it was for 360 the, and Xbox One. Yeah, it was just those two for me though. Unfortunately. Cool. All right. Well, um, I've been playing Battlefield Four, and I. Normally I say, oh, you know, I just played a few. No, I, I was probably put in ten to twelve hours of Battlefield Four this week. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how I managed how the it. Hell. Um, there was one of my days off that I did not feel full of appointments. Life. I did not feel full of life and. And I was just doing stuff around the house, and I was playing Battlefield 4 all day, uh, off and on. I was playing it earlier tonight. Um, I love playing. I don't know why I'm not playing Titanfall. I've got yeah. Titanfall. It's just one of those things. Yeah, so I've been playing Battlefield lately. Um, I, uh, I'm i second place on my friends list in accuracy. That's I, impressive. I'm in... Uh, um, like f- top tier, uh, in the world in in accuracy in the like first unit. So, wow, yeah. Um, I do not. I'm in like it's seventh tier for KD ratio. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't. <clears throat> it's that it's that thing that I always do, Jordan. I can't kill people because I'm you shooting shoot them in the, in the junk. junk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean honestly, like well, but you're would you're kill shooting them eventually. You're shooting them center mass. And and you're absolutely right. You talked about it last week. Video games should take more uh, that into more account. I mean, if you're taking a, a you're, if you take a round from a high-powered rifle, even if it is a smaller caliber high-powered rifle into the junk. Junk or even center mass Anywhere. it's going to it's going to stop you. Yeah. The yeah. vast majority of people. Especially in the junk, though. Yeah. There's no way. You're just going to keep running. Yeah. So I, I've been I've been playing a lot of that. And, you know, it it does frustrate me. Mm-hmm. The, the game does frustrate me. Um, because there are inherent problems with first-person shooters that really, really get to me. Um, are we going to get our first rant of the night? And it's a mini rant. It's a mini rant. So, whenever you uh, att- attach a silencer to a weapon, according to the stats on the on the game, it does not reduce damage. Correct. Correct. Have you ever tried to kill somebody with a silenced weapon? It in, is in a video difficult. game. <laughs> in a video game, yes. It's difficult. I it mean, is. Yeah. 
for and, for whatever reason, it feels like you can just like keep shooting them and keep shooting them and keep shooting them, yeah. and they don't die. Right. right. It's like um, you're shooting them with an airsoft gun. Right. Right. And you know, um, and more to that point, I'm really tired of playing Battlefield and uh, having a silenced pistol and going. Phew, 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 Putting three bullets in somebody, watching their bodies react to it, and then kill me, and it says that they still have 100% health. That pisses me off. Yeah. Like, the loudness has anything to do with it. Yeah, because I'm shooting, I'm shooting center mass, and if, uh, unless, so, I, unless I score right. headshots, it doesn't seem to do anything. And maybe that's yeah. the thing. Maybe they're saying if it's a pistol, it's a low-caliber weapon, and body armor stops it. I know, I know, I know, but it happens with the sniper rifle also, which is not, that's not, yeah, that's no, not, which that's, is not low velocity, it's yes. high velocity. There's no way. Oh yeah, I, I've, uh, <clears throat> I've put seven rounds with a sniper, a sniper rifle into somebody. I love it, the sniper rifle. <laughs> sniper rifle. <laughs> um, sniper rifle. Um, <laughs> I just said flashbacks. Watch, played games way too late at night with you guys. Yeah, like, why, guys, wh- get the sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, watching them react to being hit by a bullet. Yeah, and not having killed them. Do you know what seven rounds from a sniper rifle would do to a human body? <laughs> it would disintegrate, uh, and that's why body. games like Call of Duty. If you got hit with one of the rifles, like the, and I'm talking like uh, the World War II Call of Duty games. Yeah. If you got hit with any of the high powered rifles with a scope, you were toast. Yeah. yeah. It didn't matter where they hit yeah. you, you were done. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Especially and in World War II. They I didn't get, have advanced body armor back then. And the, the, um, the other thing that bothers me is, uh, uh, man, now I can't. There were there were three things that were were getting on my nerves, but I, I think probably like a Rick Perry moment. Um, being able to, like, to me, and I'm a logic minded person. That's just that's how I do things. And so, in a military first person shooter, what I want to do is check corners, clear rooms, and you know, move forward, and. You I'm want getting more rainbow, murdered. Right. You want more Rainbow Six and um, what was it? Um, what was that military game? Are you talking about the, the tactical one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but you want more like that than like run and gun Halo. And, and, and see, whenever I want accuracy, I pull up my sights. Right. Um, but it's too late by then. I'm dead. Right. Because I'm being... Just like straight up murderized by guys running around at full sprint, la 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 hip, la la. hip firing, yeah, hip yeah. firing, and continuing to f- run around full sprint. Do you know what happened to somebody on a battlefield if they were just like running, like they were lancelotting <laughs> the entire map? Yeah, uh, look at the Iraq War. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyway, th- those are my frustrations. I, I think um, whenever it comes to military themed shooters, uh, you should be rewarded for tactics and aiming, and get hosed if you're just running around the the map like a crazy person when you're going Leroy Jenkins on the map. <laughs> so, I, and that's the thing is that's one of the reasons I love Halo and and Call of Duty is because I play Leroy Jenkins style. I always have. That's just always been Well, that's my And there's nothing wrong with that. No. But, but when we play Rainbow Six or Ghost Recon. You can't do no, that. no. no I tried my. I remember the oh, first because you you know whenever I'm setting up a uh, even in Halo, if I'm setting up the server, yeah, it's it's set to realistic. Yeah, and do you remember and those games of will SWAT? Take you we had uh, SWAT games on love those Halo Two battle rifles on SWAT. And do, 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 the the three round burst. I mean, that was playing because if you went Leroy Jenkins, you were done. Yeah, if you were seen jumping around on the map and somebody got one round into you, because toast. Because Sam and I, we will kill some fools with a pistol. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> we're running around on uh, all by their their onesies at full sprint. So, yeah. Well, 
So anyway, yeah. that, those those I, are my, I, those I are my problems with it. Um, and maybe I should just cycle through through Call of Duty and Battlefield and and uh, Titanfall, so I don't get too irritated about any one of them. But it, it, it's a common problem with the genre. Yeah. And, so and that's why it's I very arcade ish to me. Yeah, I love the idea of Halo because now I can at least blame it on shields and and, yeah, and right. futuristic armor yeah. and aliens and things like that. Sure, I, I love Halo so much. I'm so excited for Master Chief. Yeah. Please, please, Jordan, please, Brick, please. Brick. I, I have. Please spend money you don't have. Please, do it. Do it. No, I, I already am. That's that's how I'm getting out of the country. This. Uh, the that's true. <laughs> that is true. All right. Um, I feel like we've covered anybody, the watches. Yeah. I yeah. So. You guys have anything else? I'm just jazzed to be on the show. Yeah, you are. Thanks, guy. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Oh, What's uh, my last name? What is it? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody get Guy out of here before those things eat. No, no, no. Let's get out of here before, before those, those things, things kill Guy. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this... Uh, this episode of the Lobbycast is also not brought to you by Coda Brewing's Double IPA. I feel like it was brought to us. It, it was. To them. They don't sponsor us, though. Well, yeah, yeah. but it, it altered my mood. Mm, fair enough. So. <laughs> All right. We'll go with that, then. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> There's the second one. I didn't even do it. I didn't even do it. Mine was on